Uh, it worked. We voted for Blaine. Ooh, I'm so sweaty. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, Blaine. I literally found out that everyone was voting for you in the last, like, 10 seconds. I had to stay loyal to my alliance. And this hurts to say. I voted for Blaine, and I am so sad. I'm so sorry. I do feel like I kind of led the charge with this last vote. I think I want to lay a little low and see what the plans are from other people in the next one. I did get one vote last round, so I'm a little nervous that there might be con some conspiring. I feel horrible, but I, I do think that a really strong player went home. I am kind of worried about where exactly I fall in between all of these amazing players. Oh, holy crap. This, uh, I did not expect so many people to vote for Blaine. Obviously, Corey lied to us. Now we are severely outnumbered. It's going to be five to three. I, I knew this vote was going to be like very important for like setting the tone for the rest of the game. I've got to be very careful with communicating with the other group. I don't think it's there yet, but if I'm not careful how this episode plays out, I could quickly become the next target for being a little shady. Yeah, Don't point it out. I thought he was going to forget. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Anything calls for our selfies. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Welcome back to the Challenge Arena. Cora, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take back the immunity Fine. idol. Immunity is back up for grabs. Ooh. So... Y'all ready for the last two island oh challenge? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, then follow me. Everyone, welcome to the next immunity challenge, which we are calling Back and Forth. This challenge is very simple. Get from one end to the other for everyone else. You will encounter obstacles along the way, as well as the materials needed to get through them. Pick up the materials and return to your DIY bench at the beginning to craft the tool that you need to continue. Along the way, you will craft a flimsy shovel, an ax, a vaulting pole, and finally, a ladder. The first person to reach the end and activate their bamboo doll will win immunity and cannot be voted out at the next tribal council. Let's go. So, Let's draw for spots and we'll get to it. All right, everyone has their spots. We are ready to go. So, for immunity, on your marks, get set, a goal. I knew it. I knew it. Come on, come on. Yeah. I was hoping it was like a buried tool or something. All right. Corey so off to tense. an early lead, leaving one of his materials behind. Let's see if this strategy pays off. All right, they are first crafting a flimsy shovel to get through the mash shrub. Like you've never mashed A before. Then keep mashing it and accidentally say keep crafting. No, that's <laughs> what I just did. <laughs> Looks like Argo is in an early lead on the old Takai Island. Oh, old Toshi Island is <laughs> too close to tell, honestly. All right, now they're picking up materials to craft themselves an X. Ah, you're gonna have to pull out your shovel again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Corey points out that you do Man, save frames of animation slow. if you put away Nintendo. your tool before you sit down. So, you know, oh, no, I'm falling behind. How are you so fast? I don't know. All right, Cora and Argo are the first ones to start chopping down their trees. Come through, Paul Bunyan. Next up is to craft a vaulting pole. Everyone has dropped their vaulting poles back at the start. Where is this recipe? <laughs> All right, Cora is still in the lead. Cora, Cory is right behind I, okay. though. Why can't I either? That was oh, you scary. Gotta <laughs> right. You gotta hit this jump just right. I can't jump. Oh, there it is. Last tool is a ladder. 
Cora stays in the lead, but Corey, Argo, and Okabe are not far behind. All right, we are down to seconds. Cora in the lead. No, <gasps> no, 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> and that is Corey with the win. I went back down. I was going to Oh, oh my, heart. my goodness. What an end <laughs> of the challenge. The turn. Corey, come on down and put on this gold rose crown of immunity. Wear it with pride, knowing you cannot be voted out the next tribal council. <laughs> <laughs> For the rest of you, one of you will join Lauren and Blaine on the jury. I'll give you some time to figure out who that's going to be, and then I will see you guys at tribal council. I am so elated. I can't believe it. Like, I had a goal. I just wanted to win a challenge. Cora was so ahead of me. And then she went down after climbing up the first layer. I won. Yes. And it was important because I did feel like I was going to be a little bit of a target this round. Oh my god, I cannot believe I did that. I just didn't turn around. It's so frustrating. But honestly, maybe for the best, I don't want to be seen as too strong. So I guess I'll make a stupid mistake and lose. I think I'm safe. I have numbers on my side. Whatever. I'm just not gonna, I'm gonna forget that happened. Water under the bridge. All right, are you thinking of anyone? Um, last round, the other majority vote was for Nora. Nora, yeah. So I don't know if, like, that would be the easiest one to switch to, but I know that Michelle and Nora seemed pretty aggressive against Argo. Oh, is that where the Argo vote came from? Mm -hmm. So I'm not really sure. I don't know if I told you the thing with Argo. He like came up to me and was like, "Wow, you're really good at challenges." And I don't know if he was trying to compliment me or like, Be like oh. scare me. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, "Oh, I I don't know. I you know." <laughs> so I kind of tried to brush it off. <laughs> so I think okay. I know Chewie's not here. Are you good with like me, you, and Chewie being nice little final three? Yeah, that's what my okay. my headcanon was this whole time. So Okay, cool. Same. <laughs> Heading into deliberation, I'm not really sure who it's going to be. I don't really distrust anyone. I've been getting along pretty well with everybody. I had a goal with joining in this. I wanted to win an Congrats. immunity. Dude, you did it. <laughs> you were asking Dude, for it. That was so it. crazy. I feel like I saw that happen <laughs> in slow motion. Like, Cora just go down. I'm <sighs> like, oh my god. Poor Cora. I might have to watch it this was so episode. close. Uh, my plan heading into deliberation is to find out who voted for Blaine. Why did that vote go that way? Obviously, we were kind of backstabbed. So the last vote, what was it? Was it five four? That was a tough one. Yeah. It was still very old v, v new, and the old <laughs> were going for Blaine. Yeah, that's kind of what I guess. What happened when you went to the other channel? Uh, that's what I was hearing. I didn't have long. Like it literally, like I popped into the channel, and then they're like, "Time to go," and I was like, and they're like. Blaine, Blaine, Blaine. I was like, Yeah, uh, and Blaine kind of knew also. Oh, he did? Really? Yeah. Why didn't he use his idol? I don't know. He hmm. must have thought, well, because like I did still. Okay, Michelle, keep this on the down low. I talked about voting for Nora, but mm -hmm. I the only reason I still did was because I didn't want to burn a bridge with Argo and Okabe mm -hmm. here. Right. Okay. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a close one. Uh, I'll be right back. I don't trust what Corey's telling me. Um, he says that he voted for Nora, but the map just doesn't add up. He had to vote for Blaine the last round. Um, so I really need to get out of there and head and talk to Cora and Kuri and see really what's going on. So who do you, do you think we should go for Argo or Okabe or Yeah, Nora? Either, either Nora, Argo or Okabe. Are any of them like really good at challenges? Is anyone going to win immunity that we got to get out? Uh, no. I'm Yo. not really sure. Hey! So that what was an feeling, interesting Argo? vote last time. Was it? Was it? Yeah. Was it five four? Super was it, surprising. Was it five three one? Yeah, it was yeah, something like that. I really hope Argo didn't hear Cora talking about voting him because I don't really want to vote Argo. He's someone I've kind of grown to trust. He was on the new school try with me. We have that connection, but I don't know. You guys all voted for Nora, right? Well, it's because mm. I mean, I'll be in front of you. Corey told us that you guys were going to be voting for Nora, so that's the reason why we oh. voted for him to try to save Blade. That changes up who I think voted then. I think the votes for Nora was me, Blaine, yeah. and Okabe, because that's when we were in a ch chat with him. There's been some deceitful yeah. conversations. So when I joined that group, I, I told Cora that Corey said he voted for Nora, 
and she seemed like she had no idea. So now I know that he's lying. Quarry had no intention of voting for Nora, which is very disappointing in the last round, and it ultimately led to Blaine getting eliminated. I'm going to hop down and see yep. in a different room just in case anyone wants to come up here. Yeah, no worries. Okay, good. Kuri. Kuri, who who the last from? name I heard Corey come out with me was um, you. Wow. Yeah, Corey wanted you, but I told him to do Blaine. Okay. And so that flipped him. And Nora. And you said he just n- told Argo that he did Nora. I think he did Blaine. Hi, Nora. Oh, hello. Hello. How goes hello. it? Hello. Nora. Hi. Good. How are you feeling? Uh, feeling a little targeted, you know, just, uh... Yeah, after that vote, I was surprised. <laughs> just, you know. Well, those times are over between you and me. Are they? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm totally not, like, thinking of, like, you as anyone I want to vote for. Corey's out for themselves. I mean, it makes sense, cross or be crossed, but Corey is just going around telling everyone to vote for different people. You know, was suggesting people vote for me, so we can't vote for him this round, but next round. Let's see, where's, um, nobody's in room three. I haven't gotten to talk to, um, uh, Chewy or, or Cora. Yeah, me either. Oh, I'm gonna nice. head over there. Okay. I, I'll just let you know, Nora, I don't really know who I'm voting for, but I'm not voting for you, so... All right, all right. Thanks for the confidence. <laughs> but I'm, I'm hoping that we can, like, I don't know, figure out who we want to take into the end because it sort of is kind of turning into a little bit of, like, who's going to be in the last few rounds here. But uh, I'm going to go hang out with Michelle, though. All right, have fun. How are you feeling, though? So I popped in right as he was talking about me, right? Oh, uh, no, no. no. Uh, okay. Let me okay. be honest. He, he was talking about Goody. That's good to know. He had mentioned her earlier, and then... No one voted yeah. for her, so I was like, huh. Okay, Nora is mad at me. Uh-oh. Would she say something when I left? Well, she just se- was not seeming like she was receptive to me saying that, but she was the one that was trying to kind of like bridge the gap earlier. Yeah, that's, that's, why I, that's what I was talking about. I was like, I was surprised because I thought you guys were like, cool. Yeah, and I totally lied. I did not vote for Nora. Um, I just didn't want Okabe and Argo to know that because they sort of are kind of playing it cool with me right now. They they were like, if you vote for Nora, like we're good. So there is kind of some doubt in my mind right now when it comes to Corey because I know that he's played this game before and he knows that he can't be too much of a target, but at the same time is making a lot of connections. So I am getting a little suspicious. Yeah, to be honest, last vote was kind of a uh, kind of weird. Yeah. I feel Hello. I feel very much on yeah. the outskirts, you know. I had no idea how that was gonna go, and I mean, I I thought uh, that I was I going to get some Blaine votes. Was but voted out. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hey, Argo. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh, uh, the like the last yeah. votes. People voting for me. <laughs> well. So we all voted for Blaine. Yeah. 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 Okay. I did not vote for Nora. Yeah, she really thinks you did. <laughs> I had to have Argo and Okabe think that I did though. So who are we voting? Um, I I really, really want to get rid of Curry, but I don't know if I can sway enough people to vote for her. Like, Argo and Okabe aren't aren't for it. I don't, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think that's a good choice right now. No, she's the biggest threat. She, honestly, I don't want to go up against her at the end. Yeah, but there's not a lot of people that are going to be for that right now, because I'm pretty sure Chewie is not going to vote Curry out either, and I kind of, I like trust Curry. I do I too. Think. That's that's the concern is like she's the biggest threat in the game right now. And somebody like that, you don't want to go up against at the very end because everyone's going to vote for them. I'm going to let Argo know just so. Is that um, okay? If you feel like we can work with him, then I'm going to trust you on that one. But I will say Corey was pushing for you. This round? The last round. Do you know who he's um, so pushing for this round? I don't know who he's pushing for this round. I want to like hop in a room with him. Maybe yeah. you can go... Uh, I'll know. go down and then maybe he'll hop up. Okay. I was really surprised to hear about Corey throwing my name out there. I literally haven't even talked to them, so I'm like kind of confused on why I'm being targeted, but it's kind of sad. I was really looking forward to working with him at some point. I am happy that Chewie let me know though, because I know for a fact I can trust Chewie. Nora, I'll be 100% honest with you. I voted for you to try to save Blake. 
because yeah me too I, it was it was before you might have, might have patched it up or something but when we talked to Corey, he told us that he was leaning towards voting for you and that he was going to try to talk to other people to vote for you and so that's why we try to lean that way to try to save Blaine you know that's that's honestly I figured so thank you for that confirmation so I'm kind of uh, open now because yeah, to, be, I, no, to be I honest with you I think like Nora I don't know who you're close with or if you have someone that you're kind of been voting with or if you're kind of still open i i i had been talking with lauren and that kind of you know oh. blew up a little bit like if it's you versus curry in the final like two what Hello. do you think is gonna happen what's yeah. gonna happen hey hey, hey. Shui, what's i was all? thinking all, all, of us, let's go. all of us there we are thinking. finally in a room together okay who are we voting yes. for i think I think we should get like a strong uh, immunity yeah. player out right now, just so we can we can keep the power to ourselves instead of From, I'm thinking, the risk of one of them. I do it. want to vote for Curry, but if we do that, we might end up in a stalemate. It's uh, four of them, right? <laughs> I guess I don't know if Curry's like working very tightly with any of them yet. Oh, so maybe I we think, bring her in the fold for a little bit till the end. And I think. People are kind of throwing Nora around, <sighs> but I feel like that's like the easy one. Yeah. You Let's. Know? Yeah. What if we do like Argo um, or Okabe? Looking at who's in here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like whose names are in here? <laughs> 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 yeah, Argo or Okabe. Cora, Corey, and Chewy. I don't know if Michelle, but I think they Abby. have a strong alliance. So, I have an interesting development. Oh. Chewy told me that Corey voted for me. And then play both. said that they were voting he, for Blaine and told someone no, else they were voting Corey for Corey told me and Okabe and to pass on to Blaine that we were going to vote for Nora. And he was going to try to get the other people. Yeah, he yeah. just apparently he told Chewie to vote for me originally and then switched to Blaine and then switched to Nora. So I have no he idea. He told me and Cora to vote for you. Yeah, see, he, he, told, okay. he, he told everyone and to vote. And he told us to vote so for you, Nora. I don't, I mean... I think those four down there are going to vote the same. I think we need to try to break up Cora, Corey, and Chewie. Yeah. Let's go for Argo or Kabe, because I don't feel like... I want to prove to Nora that, like, in case it's us with her at the end, that, like, I didn't vote for her, and I told her. I was like, okay. I, I didn't. I voted Let's for... Let's keep Nora for Blaine. now, then. I think that's a good okay. move. Yeah. And that yeah, way she'll I be on her side, too. If we go Argo or yeah. Kabe and all four of us vote that way, we'll win. Because they'll be split. Do you guys want to try to come together to vote for the same to try to protect us four? Because I think us four are on the outskirts. I like this, the underdog side. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, I'm going to be completely honest, I have so far good repertoire with Chewie and Cora right now because they've been very honest with me about what they've been But we been can't hearing, vote for so. Corey. Mm -hmm. I do trust Chewie. So who should we vote in the meantime? So that's the problem. It's only, the only other people is Chewie, Cora, or Michelle. Okay, so I... which one? I feel like Argo. I feel like Argo's very, I don't know, like he came into the voice chat and immediately was like wanting to talk about the votes. So he definitely he has like, a strategy down. Yeah. He also like walked Nora up from the airport and stuff too. Yeah. So he's like, he's definitely playing nice guy. Yeah. Nice guy. Yeah. That's some jury management right yeah. there. <laughs> All right. Okay. So Argo. Okay. Argo. Argo. What do you, what do you guys think? Michelle. Okay. Michelle. I'm done. All right. Yeah. Sorry, Michelle, if you're watching this. I'll let if, you if, if know we Michelle too. off. Then it'll be at least if Nora, if you give us a, your word, then it can always be four versus three as well. You got that. Hi. Chewy. Okay. So I talked okay. to Corey and I was like, you me, Chewy, final three? I'm she was pretty down. down. Yes, I'm down. Okay. Corey really wanted to keep Argo, but I can. Oh, oh shoot. Well, <sighs> kind of all just decided. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shoot. Do yeah. We, do we keep Do we keep Argo and go Okabe? Uh, they are voting Michelle. Okay. Okay. Uh, they're all... They want to vote Argo. Uh, but is that a number for you? I think the number will be more toward Michelle right now. Okay. 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 I hope we can trust Nora. Hopefully we can still take that four forward and hopefully Nora will join us. If we can get Michelle out or if we can get break up that three alliance, we will have command of this game. I think that Corey is definitely not 100% in an alliance, which is good for us, I think. And when I say us, I mean my alliance. I can be wrong about that. I could be wrong about that, but we'll just have to see. Welcome back, everyone, to Tribal Council. Hi. 
So, how are we all feeling being the official final eight? Hence. Stressful. Stressful. Very yeah. stressful. Money yeah. stressed. It is stressful, but I think we should all take a second to be proud of ourselves yeah. for making it. Yeah. 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 I mean, six people did not make it as far. So we've reached the merge. We're two votes in, and we are one vote away from the islands combining into one island. So I want to know what the state of the game is. What are the relationships? What are the alliances? And what are you seeing in terms of like relationships developing around you? Uh, Kuri, let's go with you first. Um, well, I was very surprised to hear some news regarding myself. And I think it's something I should be aware of and take into consideration for, you know, just who I know is faithful to their word and who is changing it up as they go around. Ooh. Okay, interesting. Uh, Chewy, what about you? Um, I feel like last tribal, I left it with a little bit of confidence as far as who I was working with, I guess, but I also feel like there's a, a couple people I haven't talked to as much, unfortunately, and uh, if I see you in the next island together, I hope to have more conversations with you. All right. Argo, what about you? Mm. Yeah, it's hard to say. Um, I, I think, I mean, I wasn't part of any conversations with how the last vote went. So the last vote was very shocking to me. It's hard to say, gauge where everyone's mind's at. Kind of what Chewie said. I mean, there's a few people that I haven't talked to. And you can kind of, it's a clear cut of who's in the voice chats together all the time of the, of the people that might be working with each other. It'll be, it'll be interesting how this goes. All right. So, Michelle, at this stage in the game, how are you feeling about your position within this tribe? And how are you feeling about the relationships that you've made? I think when it comes to the relationships and the connections, I I feel pretty confident in what I have established so far. I'm excited for like the official merge for all of us to be on one island because I think that's going to really help with the connections and you know, maybe alliances and the potential for that. So yeah, I feel pretty confident what I have right now, but I know that that can change at any second as well. All right. Nora, last tribal, we heard a lot about how it still kind of felt like there was the old, old school and the old new school. And those lines were still appearing in the game. But as we get down to it and there are fewer people in the game, it seems like that might just be less of the case. Uh, but I want to hear from you. What is your take on that? I mean, I hope so. I feel like I was never particular, you know, as far as one side v. other. I know some people have been pushing that a little bit, but I, I've said from the beginning, like, you know, we're all here to play the game and, and it's cross or be crossed. Cross or be crossed, baby. So, Okabe, Argo said that he was surprised by the last vote by Blaine going home. Yeah. And I'm wondering, since you were on the same old tribe as Blaine and Argo, did you also feel surprised by the vote? And if so, uh, what does that mean for you moving forward? Normally in the past votings, I've you can kind of guess who may get voted off. But on this last one, yeah, it, it took me by surprise. So... I think that just means that I need to try and talk to more people. And like other people said, hopefully with the island merger, uh, that'll uh, make things easier. Yeah. I mean, surprise seems to be a common element with these two merge votes. The person getting voted out is very surprised by that. So Cora, with this upcoming vote, are you expecting this to be another blindside? Um, honestly, these last, all the tribal councils that I've been to have been a blindside just how the votes have gone just all the votes in general and not just the people who are going home so it'll be interesting to see how that happens this time i think there's i mean it's clear that there's a lot of miscommunication and there's a few that are kind of voting separately right but is it miscommunication or is it deception playing the game maybe it is deception well i guess let's go find out huh so it is time to vote Everyone, please send me the name of one person you would like voted out of the competition. As a reminder, you cannot vote for Corey. All right, the votes have been cast. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol or advantage and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. All 
right, I'll go ahead and read the votes. First vote. Argo. Second vote. Argo. Third vote. Argo. Fourth vote. Michelle. Oh my. Fifth vote. Michelle. Oh. Sixth vote. Michelle. We are tied. That is three votes Argo, three votes Michelle, two votes left. Seventh vote. Argo. Last vote. Michelle. It's tied. We are tied. So, last crossroads standing rules state that in the event of a tie, we will go to a revote. Now, in this revote, you can only vote for Michelle or Argo, meaning Michelle and Argo, you guys can only vote for each other, so your votes automatically cancel out. You will not vote. If the tie holds, then you will all have a chance to discuss, but if the tie cannot be broken in those discussions, we will go to rocks. In that instance, Michelle and Argo will join Corey in now being immune from the vote, and the five remaining players will draw rocks. The odd rock out will be out of the game and become the third member of our jury. Let's get voting. All right, the votes are in. First vote, Argo. Second vote, Michelle. Third vote, Argo. Fourth vote, Michelle. Fifth vote, Argo. Last vote, Argo. Argo, that is four, that is enough. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to ask you to please drop your vaulting pole and head to the airport where you will become the third member of our jury. All righty. GG's, buddy. Bye. Thanks for the ride. And with Argo's torch snuffed, the night gets a little bit darker as we head in to even murkier waters with a tribe divided. Good night, everyone. How do I feel that the voting turned out? Well, I have a lot to say about that. It was tight. It was 4-4. Four, four. I mean, Nora had to flip her vote. And that just makes me really sad. Chewy is pulling the strings on the other side. Um, and it might have been my downfall that I didn't reach out to him and talk to him more. Akube or Kuri are going to have to win immunity or they are going to be voted off. It is what it is. I, I'm happy with how the game played. I wish I would have won some challenges, but good luck. And I will see you guys for the final one.